35th annual Made in California Dirt Exhibition here at the Brea Gallery. Each year, this all-media show features artwork from all over the state of California, with artists working in all mediums, styles, and techniques. The goal of this exhibit is to highlight the creative movements that are happening across the state of California. This year, over 700 artists entered over 2,200 pieces to be considered for the exhibition. Only 99 pieces from 91 different artists were accepted into the show. Because of COVID-19, the exhibit has been delayed, but through this video walkthrough, we'll be featuring all of the exhibiting artwork and highlighting a few selected pieces. We hope that you enjoy the show as much as we do. This first piece on view here, titled Playgirl by Jacqueline Valenzuela, is a modern portrait of a woman in the Chicano world of lowrider culture. Jacqueline uses these portraits to depict these strong women alongside their cars in a surrealist version of the landscape in which they reside. The use of color, pattern, texture, the juxtaposition of realism and surrealism are all reasons that this piece was selected as first place in this year's Made in California. Fiber artist Anna Luna Sauer began her career as a painter, but now has evolved her practice to using found materials and scraps of fabric to create line, depth, color, and texture in these sculptural three-dimensional works on canvas. This self-portrait by Victoria Maldonado depicts the artist in a suspended state between vulnerability and assertiveness amidst vibrant colors and florals. As a non-binary painter, Victoria strives to highlight both her multicultural identity and queer visibility through her work. Each year, the gallery offers a highly coveted solo show opportunity to one artist. This year, 132 artists submitted bodies of work for consideration, but only one was selected. Laguna Beach artist Perrin Mahler was chosen to exhibit his large-scale narrative paintings during this year's Made in California. These vivid, hyper-realistic paintings represent emotional times throughout the artist's life. Perrin depicts scenes of chaos and clutter alongside quiet, pensive moments and hopes to connect emotionally with his viewers.
Anaheim-based artist William Camargo was awarded an honorable mention for this photograph that's part of a greater series documenting the recent history of Southern California cities. His work explores the injustices towards and the achievements of local minority communities that have long been part of our Southern California social landscape. This sculpture, titled Lost and Found by Dan Falby, is somewhat of an optical illusion. Upon first glance, viewers may think that it is simply a pile of fabric. Well, in fact, it is a ceramic sculpture. Dan rolls out thin sheets of clay and tosses them into the air, inviting gravity into his process to create these beautiful layered pieces of art. He then employs unique glazing techniques to create color shifts as the viewer moves around the piece ultimately making the viewer second guess their assumptions as they walk through the exhibit. This piece by Yulia Leshoskina is a fun take on a childhood game she would play back in Russia, where she would place items from nature in a hole in the ground and enclose it with a piece of glass to be admired as a still life. Here, she takes natural objects from Joshua Tree State Park and preserves them amongst layers of acrylic in this beautiful painting. This unconventional diptych by Long Beach artist Cody Lusby explores California's relationship with water. The black and white photograph of the dry, arid desert juxtaposed against the vivid, full-color painting of the swimmer highlight the divide between the wet north and the dry south here in California, as the hand-built complex panels allude to the fact that there is no simple solution to this ongoing water crisis.
Claremont-based painter Sidney Walters is the only artist to have three pieces accepted into this year's Made in California. Her piece here, titled Crumpled Wall, is a site-specific installation of an oil painting on canvas that she installed within the gallery. Her diverse collection of work addresses women's roles within contemporary society while also referencing art historical religious paintings. Christine Lyon's work depicts the female body in its truest forms. Composed within familiar domestic locations, these women are no longer elegant reclining nudes, but rather these bodies sag, drip, and spill out onto the canvas. Her decision to transform this painting into a pillow furthers this revelation and is a prime example of the innovativeness of artists working in California.